In this video tutorial, you'll learn how to create a contact form in WordPress. Every website needs a contact form. This is so visitors can easily contact you about your products and services. The best thing here is that you can do this very easily using a plugin. So, in your WordPress dashboard, go to Plugins, and then click on Add New. In the search bar, type WP Forms and press Enter. And this is the plugin. Click on Install Now to start the installation. And then when the installation is complete, this button changes to Activate. So click on it to activate the plugin. Once the plugin is activated, you get redirected to the plugin settings page. Scroll down and click here to create your first form. Give your form a name here. And then you have a few templates to choose from. If you upgrade your plan, then you can select from more templates. But for now, let's just select the simple contact form. And then you get a pre-made form with all the necessary fields in it. You can click on a field to edit it. So when I click on name here, I can edit this field. You can change this format from here. And then you see this asterisk here. This marks all the mandatory fields. You can click here to make a field required. I'll also edit this message section. I'll just change the label. And uncheck this. And yeah, this definitely looks better. You can also edit the submit button by clicking on it. Change the text from here. And you can edit what you want to show when someone submits your form. Okay, now let's go back to the fields. And you can add new fields to your form by clicking here. Just click on the field and it'll be inserted in the form. You can drag the field to rearrange them. I don't want this field, so I'm just going to delete it. Now let's save the changes. Now that you've created your WordPress form, it's important that you properly configure the form notification and form confirmation. So click on Settings. And first, let's configure the notifications. Form notification is the email you get after someone submits the contact form on your WordPress site. You can see here that it's on by default. The admin email is the email linked to your WordPress website. You can change it by clicking on it and entering the email address you want to receive contact submission forms from. You can also use smart tags. I'll show you how to do that in the next field. You can edit the email subject line and use the smart tags. So I'll choose the name tag to make it a little more personalized. 
So this will now show the name of the individual who is submitting the form. And the name here is also the same, so you can leave it as is. And then all the way down, the body will have all the fields. Now click on Save. And let's move on to Confirmations. Form confirmation is what your website visitor sees after they submit the form. It could be a thank you message, or you can redirect them to a special page. You can edit the confirmation message here. And in the confirmation type, you can select if you want the visitor to receive a message or show them a thank you page, or redirect them to a different URL. Then click on Save. And now that you have your form set up, let's add it to a page. So I'm going to close this. And this is where all your forms are. For now, let's create a new page. I'll give this page a title. And then click here to add a new block. In the search bar, type WP Forms. And then select your form from here. Let's preview the page. And as you can see, the form was added successfully. You can also add this to your sidebar. Back in your dashboard. Go to Appearance. And click on Widgets. Drag and drop the WP Forms widget onto your sidebar. Select the form, and then click on Save, and Done. Let's head over to the website to see it now. And as you can see, the form is now on the sidebar. This is how you can create a contact form in WordPress. That's it for today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you like the video, please click on the like button. If you're new to our channel, hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our future videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you at the next one.